Hey, welcome to Sustainable Investing. My name is Mike and in this video we're going to talk about some important news that came out recently about the electric truck company called Hylion. Before we get started, don't forget to smash the like button to help out the channel and subscribe so that you get notified of future videos on sustainable investing. So for those who aren't familiar with Hylion, they're an electric trucking and solutions company that is listed on the stock market under the ticker symbol HYLN. If you want to see a more in-depth video about their business fundamentals, their CEO, their financials, I have a full video on that that you can click up here um, or see the video link in the description. So last week, Hylion announced that they formed the Hypertruck Innovation Council. They explained that their vision is to have a net zero carbon transportation industry and it relies heavily on them collaborating with experienced and innovative partners, which is the reason that they want to form this council. They further explain that Hylion will work with the council to provide key user insights into the development of the Hypertruck ERX, their truck that runs on renewable natural gas, and the company's electric powertrain for their Class 8 commercial semi-trucks to get superior performance, reduce emissions, and lower operational costs. Okay, so who's on this council? On their website, they mention 11 companies on this council, not including themselves, that have backgrounds in logistics, trucking, and transportation. Agility is one of the world's leading freight and logistics companies and operates in over 100 countries. On joining the council, their CEO, Tarek Sultan, said, By working together through the Hylion Innovation Council, we can get reliable, efficient, zero-emissions electrified trucks on the road much sooner and rapidly begin to decarbonize heavy-duty trucking. Agility has also pre-ordered about 1,000 trucks that have Hylion's technology. Another big company on this council is Anheuser-Busch, which is an American brewing company and is famous for their brands like Budweiser and Bud Light, and of course rely heavily on shipping and transportation to distribute their products. Their vice president said, with one of the largest dedicated fleets in the United States, Enhauser Bush is committed to leading the industry towards zero emission commercial transportation by improving the sustainability of our own logistics operations. The most impactful technologies come from close collaboration with experienced and innovative minds, and we're excited to participate in the Hylion Hypertruck Innovation Council to support the development of a transportation solution that meets the complex needs of today's fleet while working to build a more sustainable future. A third company is Green Path Logistics, which is a green trucking solutions company in the US with an emphasis on environmental sustainability. They also currently operate over 100 Class A and B power units. They said, as one of the first 100% alternative energy private fleets in the country, Green Path Logistics is committed to leading the industry towards a zero emission future. So on businesswire.com, which is where this announcement first came out, they indicate that council members will be the first to operate the Hypertruck ERX and provide direct feedback to actively advance the powertrain's path to commercialization. We also learned from Hylion's recent investor presentation back in February that they plan to begin initial demo deployments of their Hypertruck ERX later this year. They also plan to start shipments and commercialization in 2022. So this announcement of a council forming with fleet and logistics companies to help Hylion get feedback on their Hypertruck definitely fits with them starting demo deployments later this year. I think this is a really big step for Hylion and that they're really serious about getting their electric semi-truck to market in the next year. 
the fact that these big fleet and logistics companies want to be part of the council and try hands-on testing out this Hypertruck ERX shows that they are really serious about wanting to incorporate the sustainable technology in their fleet operations and that they want a piece of the pie. As for looking ahead, I'm really looking forward to getting some updates from Hylion and this Innovation Council on how the tests and the demo deployments with the Hypertruck go. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Hylion and their electric semi-truck. What do you think about its potential and will they hit the markets in the next year? As always, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at Sustainable Investing with Mike. Thanks for watching.